Hello, everyone. Hello. Please. Oh, look. Nice. Good to see you all. Morning, Kathy. Good morning. <laughs> Who's speaking? Dorothy. Dorothy. Hi, you Dorothy. <laughs> How are you? It's fine. Yeah. I hope you're well. You look good. good. Thank you. Morning. Good Actually, morning. morning. Hi, Suzanne. Howdy, hey, how new are you? background. What? New background, yeah. Wow. I had to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're just coming in. We're going to start pretty soon. Looks like I've got them all. Oh, no, there's more. How do I? Oh, I guess you can. This is a big meeting today. We're so excited that you're joining us. Did you see the back of that shirt? Or shirt? Sure. Let's shut the door. Oh my God. Okay, uh, we're going to ask everybody to mute. And we'll let the rest of the people in. I have to admit, I've never um, hit the admit button so many times. On. Let's see, I think we're good. All right. We have a, oh, here they come. There's more. Well, it's exciting to see so many people coming to listen to great presentation. So, so happy. All right, I'm gonna do one more minute of admits and then we are gonna get started. Get started. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Amy. Hi, Kip. I have a visitor with me today, so we're both going to listen in. Oh, great. <laughs> Welcome. All right. We're good. All right. Well, I'm going to get started. I have a terrible thing to tell you. I cannot find Amy. And I know there's a hurricane approaching Cape Cod. So I'm just wondering if maybe there's some sort of problem. Oh, she is. oh, oh no. Hey, hi, Kathy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi guys. Guess what? We're live today because Amy is in Seattle. Yay. Yay. Amy, I'm going to turn it over to you to oh, play Oh, yes, song. yes. And I guess you guys were wondering, like, where is she? Where is the Why festivities? Is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? Why is Kathy so morbid? <laughs> because what is happening, Kathy? I was born morbid. She wasn't. She wasn't born morbid. All right. 
Well, hold on. And it's not fair you scared us, Kathy. She scared me. Yeah. She scared me on that. Okay. And we we um we got everybody prepared too for like that that was gonna happen. Like uh we our, actually practiced. We it. practiced we this. Rehearsed. Was it good? It was okay. Hands up if you thought it was good. Yeah, it was uh good. okay, thanks, but amateur. All right, amateur, amateur <laughs> hour. Well, it is but I was thinking about you this morning with here in the Northeast with the hurricane. Yeah, well, I, I got here to Seattle last night. Yeah. My first time in two years. we don't years. have any smoke and we don't have any heat, so we're good. Yeah, all right. Well, everybody, I can see you, Mom. Everybody mute themselves. And, and the dance collector. And the dance collector. You know what? You know what? Hold on, I got, I'm so jacked. She's stuck. I'm She's stuck, stuck with Rubbermaid right containers with all this tomfoolery. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. Look at all these people right here. Who are those people? I don't know. Dance. It looks okay. like all right, Barb let's... and her team. Oh my, oh my. Well, it's the end of the week. Now where you been? Well, now it's Feedback Friday. So come on in. Come sit down and stare at your screen. We got a presenter that you never seen. We're Feedback Friday, we're on the loose. We'll be the train, you be the caboose. It's Feedback Friday with Kathy and Amy. Mashed potatoes and the gravy. It's Feedback Friday all day long. Feedback, Feedback, Feedback Friday. I hope you can hear that. <laughs> Great, thank you. All right, guys, well, hello. Hello and live from Seattle is of course, both of us, which is just amazing. Welcome to Feedback Friday. Uh, as you know, I'm Kathy Hot Toy, president of Botanical Colors. And joining me today is of course, Amy, hey. right next to me. And we also have our amazing special guest, Mr. Takayuki Ishii and Kentaro Kojima, who also is part of the Botanical Colors team, is going to be helping with any um, translation or clarifications. But um, before we start with our presentation, I just wanna say thank you to everybody. This has just been an amazing... Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not that? sure why Betsy's all highlighted, so I'm... Just so unspotlight. Unspotlight, I don't know. Uh, I'm not Very sure. strange. Anyway, um, so just want to say thank you everyone for joining us for Feedback Friday. This is episode 67. We've been doing seven, this for seven, seven, 67 seven, seven, weeks. Seven. And uh, every week it just gets better. We have amazing people that we're talking to and meeting over Zoom that we couldn't do uh, even in real life, even without COVID. So it's such a pleasure and such a privilege. Thank you everyone. Um, before we start, I wanna talk a little bit about housekeeping. So uh, Amy is going to moderate the chat that will open up after um, Takasan's presentation. And she'll be uh, asking the questions. And if there's any requirement to translate, Kentaro will do the translating um, for us. So that's how it's going to work this time. And we are recording this call. We will have a video copy ready for you at the end of the weekend. Uh, any other additional information um, what else? Oh, let me just introduce our speaker. So Takayuki Ishii is an indigo dye artisan, and he was born in Kanagawa Prefecture in Japan. And he currently runs a workshop in Japan in the mountainous Are you area. Able to get it dry? Could you mute yourself, please? Um, he currently runs a workshop in the mountainous area of Kanagawa, and he he has what he describes as an indigo dyeing company, but I have to say it's so much more than that. So basically from seed all the way to finished uh, fabric or goods, uh, Takasan is actually doing the work. So he's growing indigo, he's processing indigo, he's dyeing with the indigo in traditional methods. He's learned many of the traditional methods of um, Japanese te textile techniques. So this is like, He's like a, a living treasure in the making. This is gonna be super exciting. He's going to talk about the tradition of skumo in Japan and the Japanese textile techniques 
that are born out of the creative exploration of indigo dyeing. So he's one of the last remaining producers of indigo in Japan. He'll, he's going to share this process and why it's so important to preserve this expertise. And so Takasan, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Feedback Thank Friday. You. Thank you for inviting and me. We're going to have you now start. Thank you. <clears throat> ah, I'm nervous. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me to Feedback Friday. And thank you for your interest in my work. I'm no good at English. I think it's better to talk by myself. Uh, my name is Takayuki Ishii. I'm Japanese and live in Kanagawa Prefecture, next to Tokyo. Indigo work has been for 10 years. I worked at Indigo Studio in Tokyo for the F. I worked in Indigo Studio in Tokyo for the first five years. The reason why I started Indigo work was because the Great East Japan earthquake in 2011 for the nuclear power plants in Fukushima to explode, contaminating the sea, river, and soil. And then I started thinking about sustainability. My impression on Japanese indigo are sustainable, fermented, alive, sacred, and quiet. It was much my way of thinking and my personality I'm growing indigo, make skumo, dai katazome with fermented indigo liquid. And the uh, indigo liquid returned to the field. I live in indigo, uh, I live with indigo, so there is no holiday in my year. I like to take a picture, so I'd like to introduce my work through the picture I took. I'd like to show exactly what I do. And I have to say, sorry, I'm reading GD paper, this sheet. Each sheet is totally okay. Yeah. No problem. My, my English is okay? Yeah. Your English is fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to talk about my village, agriculture, and skumo making, indigo batting, katazome, shibori, various materials, dining and cultivation of natural dyes, shitsu dye class, private class, student work, children class, artwork, and indigo book. A living village called Fujino, two hours from Tokyo. People are growing green tea. In the past, people used to grow mulberry for sericulture. This is Fujino. My studio is 150 years old. The house used to be sericulture. The first floor is studio with the indigo bath and space for teaching. And second floor is a guest accommodation. The third floor is storing the indigo leaves. This is a classroom on the first floor. Mm. 
This is a space for indigo dining with eight baths. The four baths underground are heated by charcoal, and the four baths above ground are heated by electric. The variety of indigo that I grow is uh, Pashkaria tinctoria. I heard that there used to be 50 types of Pashkaria tinctoria. However, they are almost ex extinct and less than 10 types now. I am grow five types of Pashkaria tinctoria. I mainly grow the variety called Chijimi in this photo. Sowing seeds in March. I'm growing seedling boxes at first. And uh, transplanting to the fields in May. I use a bio mulch sheet. This is for weed control and keep water in. For this spacing, I plant three plants in each hole, but depends on interval, depends on space. The first harvest in July. I harvest twice from July to September. I use a chipper and fan to sort of leaves and stems. The stems are heavy and fly straight, and leaves are light, so the fly sideways. Dry the leaves outside by the sun. If the rainy season, dry inside with stove. After drying, store in a breathable bag. Skumo is a com composted leaves of Pascalia tinctoria. This method of skumo making is a small scale method that I invented. adding water to the dry leaves, adding the sake, mix and needle. Putting into a wooden barrel. Every few days, adding water to the leaves and the mix. This white mold is sign of a good fermentation. My method takes about two months to complete the skumo. The traditional big scale is four months. 
in this case, we need more than thousand over thousand kilogram of dry leaves. But in my case, it's possible to around 10 kilo of dry leaves. Press Sukumo on paper to check quality. We call this method Teita. Next is indigo batting. I'm using Skumo, and this is lime water. And this is a lime, limestone. And this is wheat brown and sake. First, I prepare hardwood ash to make rye water. Adding hardwood ash and hot water to container. And stirring. The wood ash will sink after a few hours. So use only top of liquid. Next, wheat bran boiling with lye water. Empty indigo bath. Putting the sukumo. Fill the bath about halfway with lye water. Lime. Wheat brown, sake. Start after putting everything in. I start with half on the first day. Heating with charcoal or indigo liquid. After about three days, blue bubble will appear on the surface. Fermentation begins. Adding lime, adding lime water three times in three days. Finally, adding lime to complete the process. It takes around one week to 10 days to complete. The indigo liquid should be star every day. The lifespan of my indigo liquid is about one year to two years. My main technique is stencil dining called katazome. This made of Japanese paper and coated with parchment tanning. Attaching, attaching the sheep, sheep net on the paper makes us stronger. Putting a paste to the wood board. This paste is mochi. Attaching a cross to the wood board. 
Then, katazome paste on paper. Katazome paste is made of mochi, bran, and lime. The paste area will be white. This is sawdust on the paste makes it stronger. This technique called tsutsugaki. The paste is same as katazome. This cone is also made of paper with pashimotani. Attaching the bamboo sticks before dying. Then dying. After dying, the paste can be easily removed by water. I also do shibori. I can do 50 different shibori techniques. These are some of them. I use for my artwork are only linen and cotton. These are materials that I died on order from customers. This material is hemp, silk, cotton, wool, alpaca, paper, this is also paper, we call it kozo. Fish skin, I died by katazome, wood. This cloth for yukata is 30 meters and light in the color. I also grow and dye besides indigo. This is a pine smoke dyeing. Mix pine smoke and soy milk and dye. This is a Pashmon tanning dyeing. We call Kakishibu. The Pashmon is fermented to make the liquid. This is the safrawa. The safrawa also fermented. We say Benimochi. Fermentation makes it red. This is Kariyasu. 
This is the color of Karius. When I want green, I dyed Karius and indigo. Gardenia. This is also yellow. Japanese mother. This is red. I also grow in uh, world. I satis tinctoria. World flower. I also grow strobilantis cutia. This is the oldest Japanese indigo plant. Uh, it's not Pascale tinctoria. We say Yamaai. There is no indigo pigment in the leaves. It's in the roots. All of these plants are growing in my field. My student asked me when I was sleeping, but I am sleeping well, so. I am running a C2 die class, and this is a six month class and a program for Japanese people to run C2 die. So she's in March. Planting the seedlings, harvesting, separate leaves from stem, not by machine. Drying leaves, making a skumo. Making the fermented indigo liquid. Doing shibori. Katazome. making indigo extraction. Dying indigo stem. These are long programs that run from March to September. I also have private class. Guests stay in my studio for 10 days and run mainly katazome and shibori. The process starts with carving the paper. I teach them how to make katazome paste and how to put the paste on the cloth and dyeing. If they work fast, I will also teach them kakishibu and pine smoke dyeing. sewing and dying shibori. I also teach batik.
basically, I would like to teach Wales, so I don't do workshop for a few days. This is a student work. Uh, these are works of my students. The design is not copy, they are original. The techniques is katazome. This length is all four meters. It's hard to dye four meters with katazome, but st stunning. I have three classes, C2 die class and private class and this children's class. The class is free. This is mostly a hobby of mine. Techniques are katazome and batik. This activity is the same as planting seeds. <clears throat> this is when I went to United States. This was also activity to sow seeds for the future. I teach the katazome and tsutsugaki. I was bringing skumo to the United States and made, made, made fermented liquids. Some kids leaked the fermented liquid. They had a lot of talent. They are great. Finally, I show you some of my artwork. The techniques is almost katazome. All are kimono, yukata, and obi. All materials are linen and cotton. Design is original. Kimono and yukata are dyed in 30 meters. This is indigo beeswax wrap. And this is a hand fan made of bamboo and linen. This is also hand fan made of rattan and paper. I wrote a book 
the contents are small scale skumo making and fermented indigo batting, all English. This method is my original, invented by me. There has never been a book like this before. If you live in US, you can pre-order from botanical class. If you live in other countries, I will ship from Japan. Many people are doing natural indigo dyeing, but I'm getting bored to see indigo extraction and fructose budding. It's natural, but just natural. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't feel alive. This is my personal feeling. The cross died by Sukumo. I can see indigo is moving and living on the cross. The answer is that maybe I am crazy or really living indigo on the cross. I want you to see indigo living on the cloth. So let's start to make skumo with me. My book will bring you closer to living indigo blue. If you don't mind even crazy for me, please. I hope your way of indigo will be brightly lit. Thank you. Thank you so much, Takasan. That was really super beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah, it was amazing. So we're going to start with a question from Amy, and then um, we're just trying to test chat. Can anybody chat with us? I don't think so. The chat has been disabled, Kathy. This happened last time. Too. Yeah, we're having a chat. Let me see if I can log in and in another account and become host and then open chat. Yeah. So sorry guys. But Amy, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Can you hear yeah, me? We yeah, it's okay. We Kathy's gonna get her computer up and we're gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna just ask a question. Okay. Thank you so much, Takasan. You're welcome. Beautiful. Kathy and I luckily were muted because we were ooing and eyeing and oh my gosh and, and so stuff. Beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. So um one of the questions that we had for you was um, do you see a growing interest in dyeing with natural dyes in Japan? Kentaro, no. if you want to. Hi, the second of Tatsuman is in a Nihon no Yes, he thinks. Hi. Yeah. In in what in what ways is he seeing it? Do you catch the sorry me at you? Not the shock. Ah. So this man. I'm Marie Nanka. I know. You know, I know. You know, I know. You know, 見てなくて、ちょっとわかんないんですけど、でもやっぱりそうですね。やっぱりあの結構日本はあのそうプラスチックバッグとかも最近まで使ってましたし、でもなんかそういうあのサシナブルがこう浸透するようになって。
、まあ、あのナチュラル大をする人も増えていってます。Uh, so he is uh, uh, pretty focused on himself, so he's not、uh, paying too much attention around. But、um, yeah, Japan, until recently, were using plastic bags, for example. That was the norm.、Uh, pe- but however, people are starting to pay attention to sustainability and issues like that. And from that, he sees more、um, attention paid to natural dyes.、Mm. I remember when、um, Porfirio was on and talking about that in Oaxaca with people using more synthetic dyes and, and, and synthetic materials and selling them instead of kind of going back to traditional ways. So that's interesting, just this kind of movement of people getting back to the, where, where the dyes actually come from and the materials come from too.、Um, I'm so sorry, you guys, too. We're, Kathy's trying to figure some things out with us, but do, do you guys know how to raise? Raise your hand. If, does somebody have a question that can raise their hand and maybe we can have them ask that question? Hey, Jen Steverson, first up, why don't you just unmute、yes. yourself and ask the question? Okay,、um, thank you. The, the work and the process is so beautiful.、Um, so I really appreciate being able to see this.、Um, I wanted to know for the six month class is that something that is available to people who speak English and not Japanese? or... Is the 10 day class better? The question is, the first time I was in the class, 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 まあ、全部6ヶ月通えるようであれば喋れなくてもあの本人が大丈夫なら大丈夫です。Uh, okay. あ、so、僕の英語で OK なら。Yes, yes. If his、uh, English、uh, was passable to you, no problem. He, apparently, he has one uh, French uh, citizen that now,、uh, but this person commutes from Tokyo.、Uh, but yes, if, if... His English was、uh, worked for you, no problem. Anybody is welcome to the class. Excellent. Right. How about、um, Krista Fuhrer? Want to unmute yourself and ask the question? Hi there. Thank you so much for the presentation. It s beautiful work.、Um, I was curious about、um, earlier this year, there was an Indigo Masterclass being offered in、uh, Fujino with Abu Bakar Fofana, and it was canceled due to coronavirus. I was just wondering if this will be offered again in the future.、Uh, no, Abu Bakar Fofana. I'm just wondering if this will be offered again in the future. I'm just wondering if this will be offered again. あの2019年にやる予定だったんですけど20年21年でダメで,で今日本まだあのこうピークが続いてる状況なんですよコロナの、はい、だからまあ来年もちょっと厳しいかなっていう感じであの頭の中にありますけどあの今のところ予定はないですね。Uh, so they have already postponed it twice. Um, because of the pandemic, and unfortunately, the things don't seem to be letting up in Japan, and so he's not even sure about next year. I mean, he wants to do it, but there is no solid plan to do it right this moment. Thanks, Kentaro.、Mm-hmm. Um, Hitoko, did you want to ask a question? Yes, thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you, Takayuki san, Ishi san.、Um, my question is、um, Can you speak a little bit more about the sacredness and perhaps the ancestral connection、um, to the work that you do or that you feel、uh, that is present in your work? Recording in progress. Okay.、Uh, it, uh, 石井さんのなさっている仕事で、えーとはい、もっと伝統的なもっと祖先からの、えー、と伝えられたこととか、はいえー、とその染料を申請しするそういう、えー、と角度から
そうえっ、ー、と石井さんのする仕事のお話を少ししていただけませんかということです。難しいです。難しいです。<笑>そうですね。そうですね。でも自分のやってることはあの結構王道。だと思いますあのあ日本大染めしてる人の中でも、まあ、染めるものも着物を染めてるし、うん、あのそうですねうん難しい質問ですねだ、うん、そうですねどういう質問ですかね噛み砕くと。<笑>えっとそ、そうですね、そ昔からの、まあ、祖先からの,あのやり方であるとか、えーと、育て方であるとか、そういうものを意識してますかっていうことですね、まずは。そういうものを。そういうものを意識してやってますかあ、それはもう意識してやってますね。もうそういうものが本当大好きなんで、うん、あの、もう本も本当に昔のものも読みますし、もうそういうのはすごい意識してやってます。Uh, so he is very aware of the traditional and ancestral sort of、uh, information and techniques, and he does、uh, read through really, really old books, and he really enjoys that part of what he does. Okay, we just got the chat working here、oh. behind the scenes. <laughs> All right,、um, let's see.、Um, so there's a question here. Talk,、uh, okay, so Brittany is asking Can you talk about how you achieve the multiple tones of blue and the designs used in the Katazome technique? And your work is so stunning, says Brittany. Brittany is saying, Brittany. 作品はもう目を見張るようなすご素晴らしいものであると。で、一つの質問は、片染めを,をしてるときに、えーと、愛の濃淡をどういうふうにつけるのか。捨てるときですかえっ、ー、と、えー、と片染めを、えーとはい、してるときに、愛の濃淡をどういうふうにコントロールするのか。はい、えっ、ー、と、のりを塗って、染めて、うん、で、そのままのりがついたまま乾かして、のりをつける場合、のりをつけて、あの濃淡を出す場合もあるんですよ。と、まず一度、のりつけて、染めて、のりをつけて、染めて、はい、洗わずに、はい、その,のりがついたまま乾かして、はい、で、のりを置くと、まず一個グラデーションができるっていう。あはい、で、のりを置いて、また染めるという。のりを置いて、えー、と染めてあ、洗わずにそのまま乾かして、はいもう一回のりを別のとこに置くっていう、えーえっと、最初に置いたところは白なんですよね、はいはい、でそこはもうあの染めて次洗わないんで洗わないんでそのままのりを置くとそののりだとかも一回染めたところにこうのりを置くんであの薄くなるっていうえでもその後もう一度染めるんですよねこの後もう一度染めますそうすると、はいはいはい、最初のところはもう白のまんまでなるほどはい、so, what he does is he, let's say you have a white fabric, you put the katazome, the, the paste, and then you dye it. And without washing it, you, he dries it and applies another layer of the paste. And then he dyes it again. So, you get two different shades.、Uh, the first、uh, place where it had the、um, paste, it's going to be white. And then the second part that he put after he Took it out and dried it, it's going to be light blue, and then the rest is going to be darker. Great. Okay.、Um, let's see. Can you,、uh, Cornelia is asking, could you please talk a bit more about this old indigo plant, Yamai, where the indigo, Yamai,、wow. where the indigo is in the roots? What is the technique for dying with that? Yama, it's all. ジャパニーズインディゴはあのパーシカリアティンクトリアっていうあの言われてるものなんですよ今
でそれが結構世界とか日本で栽培されてるんですけど実はあの中国とかあの東南アジアから来たものなんですよね今ジャパニーズインディゴって言われてる植物は,、はいはいはい、だからこうネイティブのワイルドインディゴではないんですよね、うん、でもその山あいっていうのはあのマウンテンインディゴって書くんですけど山あいで、はいはい、それはもう日本からこう昔からある日本原産の植物なんですけどちょっと長くなっちゃうんですけどあの葉っぱは藍色が含まれてなくて根っこに含まれてるんですよね、うん、で昔あの藍色ってなかったんですよね海外から来るまでは、うん、でその葉っぱの緑なんですけど緑を布にこ,こするとあの緑になるんですよでその緑が昔青だったんですよ日本のだからその根っこは全然まあ関係なくて青色なんですけど昔はその葉っぱの緑のことを藍色がなかった日本は昔はあの藍,藍って言っててこの昔ってでも大昔ですよね大昔ですもうあの本当に奈良時代とかもっと前かもしれないですけどちょっとここまで訳させてください。はい。えっ、ー、と、So the answer is that the Yamai, so what is referred to as Japanese indigo、uh, right now is、uh, actually, historically speaking, not、uh, original、uh, from Japan. It's not a Japanese strain of indigo.、Uh, it, did, it did come from Southeast Asia at some point. But this Yamai that he's talking about, the one that doesn't have、um, the Die in the leaves, but just on the roots.、Um, that is original、uh, from Japan. That is the sort of the wild indigo、uh, or, that is original from Japan. And before this thousand years, two thousand years ago, not quite, but thousand plus years ago,、uh, in Japan,、uh, the color indigo didn't exist. Or, you know, back when the color indigo didn't exist.、Um, The green, the green of the indigo plant was considered blue, what we, what we now call blue, ao, or ai. Ai. Thank you. Ah, eto, so de, ah, dai jofu. Hi, hi, hi. Good night. Ano, neko ga ao in deske do, so de no, so me kata tiu no, neko, ano, nuku to shiro in deske yo. でも乾かすと青になってそれをこうすりつぶしてあの銅媒線っていう染めそれで布につけて銅媒線っていうのをするんですけど銅油量はど,どうなんでしょう含有,含有量は高いんですか含有量は高いかいうかちょっとわからないですけどでもまあ普通に青色っていう感じの色はなりますね He,、uh, basically you... When you pull the、uh, plant out, the root is whitish, but when you dry it, it becomes blue, and you mash it and you make it into a, a pulp, a paste, I suppose.、Uh, and then you use、uh, copper mordant、uh, traditionally to dye with it. And it do, you do get a, a blue out of it. Okay. Thanks to both of you. I'm, I'm loving the teamwork. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay,、um, we're going to take one more question. And I'm just, let's see, Cornelia. I'm like, didn't Cornelia already get a question here? Did I already say Cornelia's question? I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I was, I was going to ask if there's Kata Zome in the book because、um, somebody was asking, but Kathy just said it was not. So, or maybe it is. Is, is there Kata Zome in the, in your, in the book? No, Hon, Hon, no, Naka, no, Kata Zome, no, Hon, I, no, Kata Zome, no, 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 And everybody's saying thank you so much. They love the presentation. Thank you, thank you, thank you.、Um, <laughs> thing, hey, all, in,、uh, my English is okay.、Uh, my presentation was okay. I mean, you, you, you should hear my Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I also absolutely love your work on fish skins. Do you dye them like fabric, or is there anything special you have to do? Fish skins.、Ah, I was going to ask the same thing.、Um, 
魚の皮に片染め染め,だ染められてましたね。あのはい、魚の皮は他例えば、えー、と繊維とか違,違う扱いをするんですかあそうですね。まあ、あの布と同じように糊をつけて普通に染めるんですけどあの牛の牛の皮とかあのいろんな皮も藍で染めたりするんですけど、まあ、それと同じような感じなんです。で,すよね、でもあの油が結構取れちゃうんですよアルカリ液なんで染めるとああ、はいはいはい、そうするとちょっと痩せちゃって皮がそれはもうあのフィッシュスキンでも何の皮でも同じなんですけどちょっとこう硬くなったりはしますけど、うん、染める工程は本当布染めるのと一緒ですねであの魚の皮の染めたやつって何に使うんですかああれはなんかあのロンドンドのあのなんか女の人が注文できたんですけど、はい、なんか洋服を作って美術館でそのアイヌのアイヌ民族のレプリカを作る、うん、なんか昔アイヌって魚の皮を着てたんですよね、はい、あの布もないし皮もないし着るものがなくてサーモンの皮を着てたりしてたんです靴を履いたりサーモンで靴を作ったり、まあ、それのレプリカを作るためのああなるほど。So the fish skin dyeing basically he, he does it the same way as he would dye any other fabric.、Uh, he has done also other leathers, but、uh, because of the alkaline、um, uh, environment in the bat, it, takes, it, te- it seems to take the fat, the oil away a little bit. So it becomes slightly、uh, rigid, he feels like. And then I asked him, what, what, what is the fish skin used for? And he said, this specific one, this specific project was、uh, an order from this artist,、uh, I guess, artist or researcher in, in London who needed to recreate the Ainu people's、uh, mm-hmm. traditional clothing. The Ainu people are native people of Hokkaido, the northernmost、uh, island in Japan. And they didn't have a lot of、uh, you know, leather or,、uh, or fabric. So it was traditional for them to have shoes, clothing、uh, out of、um, salmon skin. And this person that ordered you know, this project、um, was、so、trying to replicate that. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. We got an open mic here. Sorry. Open mic. Yes. My, my open、lap. mic here. Pull it together, Kathy. Trying. trying to, okay. I got my script. So I just want to say thank you so much, Takasan. It was amazing、okay. to.、Uh, no, <laughs> the pleasure is all ours. It was just so amazing to see your work. I know it's like 1 a.m. for you, so you must be extremely excited. <laughs> All we're going to do is talk very quickly about、uh, next week's guest and a few reminders. And his book.、Uh, yeah, so the book is available for pre order on the Botanical Colors site. I put the link in the chat. If you're outside of the United States or North America, and you can order directly from、uh, Takasan.、Mm-hmm. And I put the link to his website in the chat as well. So you can look at both of those. All of this chat is going to be part of the video, so you can refer to it later.、Um, so, just a reminder is that、uh, we also have、um, uh, workshops with Sasha Durr and、uh, Natalie Stopka. Those are up on the site. We're doing a, a free community indigo dip and a Saturday hangout this weekend. So, if you are in Seattle,、um, join us at Eileen Fisher down in、uh, Columbia City. And、we've、we've got good people too. We've got great、Brit、people.、Bulls. We have Britt Bowles and Ellen Noble, Noble and Patty King and all sorts of people. And then you、amazing. and I. And we're going to be yeah, there. We'll、so、be there. It'll be fun.、Um, we've also got a restock on the 1111 fabric、um, that you have all loved. I've got a new indigo color that I'll share with you next week. Also, Threads of Life. Our friends at Threads of Life are holding、um, a virtual trunk show. Via Facebook and Instagram, and that is August 26th. And it's going to be、uh, 9 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. Pacific. So if you missed the trunk show that they did with、um, Botanical Colors, here's your chance to do another one. And so next week, we're going to have natural dyer and artist Lotta Helmer. And she's here、uh, she, watching. Whoa, I mean, I've been so impressed with her work, and I'm really、yeah. thrilled that she's going to be joining us. 
joining us. She's going to talk about her artistic journey, her botanical printing, and the natural dye processes that have become the main focus of her art practice. So don't miss that. She's also going to discuss the roles of her local flora and the plants in her dye garden, including weeds and less desirable inhabitants. She's also going to pre present her most recent work involving a vintage badly damaged quilt, which has regained a new life with the help of natural dyes and patient repair Very work. Very patient. Very patient. A lot of, we're going to, we're really happy. Uh, Taka-san, Kentaro-san, arigato gozaimashita ne? Arigato gozaimashita. <laughs> it was fantastic. Thank oh, you. this is the camera. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, we could not have done it without you. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and thanks. we'll see you all next week. Yeah. If you want to unmute, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself and say hi and bye. Hey, hello. Hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Thank you. 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 Oh, my mom. Oh, my mom. Look, I'm in Seattle, mom. Hi, Ellie. We're here. We can't hear you, but we're, not going on. we're reading your lips. Okay. See myself. Happy trails. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love hearing the Japanese. The interpreting was awesome. I love the way that was done. Yeah. It was interesting to see him in his own, be comfortable in his own teaching of it, you know, speaking in the Japanese. I love that. And Kentaro then he has um, incredible batik work. Um, he has does all these really beautiful t shirts, and yeah. I have one. It's so It's so good, but I know that. Uh, it was funny, we, uh, Kentaro, I don't know if he's still here. I can't see if he's here still, but um, he didn't have his mute on. And when the batik, when, when Takasan was showing his batik, all of a sudden we heard <gasps> from him. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, all guys, right. we're going to sign Bye. off. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. It was really Thank wonderful. You. Bye, Diane. Bye, Bye, Bye we guys. Can have, we could have five more hours of that easily. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All right, bye everyone. Bye everyone.